just me, or did people suddenly develop mutant growths on their hands? Billions of dollars worth of research just to make pointless chit-chat more convenient. No one talks anymore. Four o'clock, shopping? Great. If you want to say something to Lucas, just say it. He's five feet away. Look, texting is like developing a new language. We can communicate more quickly and efficiently. If you like mangle speak. Plus, selling phones is developing Marshall's college fund. I guess that would explain his new best friends. Come on, he needs help to boost sales. And like it or not, Tyler's the man. Hmm, like it. Not. Watch this, Tyler. Want to see something cool? <laughs> cool. How <laughs> to do that? Voice recognition software. When I speak, it encrypts what I say as an emoticon. I can send that emoticon to another phone with the same software, which decrypts it. Watch. Sweet. The best part is, you could send messages to me, and nobody would know what we're saying. Hmm. Anyone else have this software? Just me. And you. <laughs> yeah, I uh, stumbled on a source. Let's just say the price was right. As in you didn't have to pay for it? Oh, I... <laughs> Did you... steal it? Technically, no. Dude, you are amazing. I would have no trouble recommending these phones. My brother and all his senior friends would definitely go for them, too. Really? Well, if you could uh, send them all my way, that would be so great. Done. Once the right kids start using these, not just your science club friends, I think you're going to experience a big surge in sales. Awesome, Tyler. <laughs> Thanks. Consider your phone paid for. Well, actually, maybe you can help solve a little problem of mine. Name it. It's the science midterm. I need your help passing it. Sure, but it's in like an hour, not much time to study. Yeah, that's my problem. Not enough time to study. But you came up with a way to get me answers that'll make me a whole lot smarter. You help me, Marshall, and I'll help you. But if you don't, I'll ruin you for good. Pencils down. All right, everyone, please pass your papers to the front and have a nice day. You having lunch? I had no choice. About lunch? Are you all right? Yeah, I will be in a minute. Professor Zia, I gotta talk to you. Sure, Marshall, what is it? Don't say a word, or else. Yes, Marshall? Blubbity Pupple Global Snark. I thought, but things are a little different here. I've made some friends. Even got a cool teacher. The principal is definitely hiding something. And this guy, Victor Pierce. Somehow he's behind all the really weird stuff that happens here. We'll figure it out. But in the meantime, these are strange days at Blake Holsey High.
I'm sorry, Marshall. What did you say? Gilly Flit. Palula Nush. Oh, I get it. Invented language. <laughs> Purple normal. Paludal glat. That's very good, Marshall. Very inventive. But I can't decipher your code right now because I a oda gay o gay arc me is they este. Marshall always eats with us. Maybe he's hanging with Tyler and Madison. You don't, you don't think he likes Madison? Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Marshall, where are you? Script sopple, clean, moropa, glom, tal, abid, ubel, gob, evil, novel, shorts. Whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down. What's wrong? Flu gaga. <laughs> Flipple bug mama. Okay, you're coming out all scrambled. I who pupil? Having a joke, mom. Okay, meet us at the lounge. Something's up with Marshall. Come on. Something amiss, Professor Zachary. Principal Durst. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it me, or is half the school suddenly texting each other via cell phone? We need to develop a policy regarding the use of the things, and I want your input. Students seem to use them constantly. Using them constantly. Excuse me a moment. Mr. Wheeler, three mistakes. That's not like you. Mr. Jessup, only three mistakes. That's not like you. Teacher face. This is more than something. That something is wrong. I have a pretty good idea what. I think it has to do with the phones Marshall and Tyler are using. What about them? I found out Marshall's powering their encryption systems with these. Paradigm. I found a whole box of these up in our room. Tyler Jessup just received the best grade of his career on his science midterm. He only had three answers wrong. The last three, let me finish. The same three that you also had wrong. Not yet. Now, I, I know for a fact that you know the answers to these questions because they were part of your project on the Doppler wave theory last month. I'm almost done. I happen to see both you and Tyler with cell phones. I was wondering if you used them during the test to exchange answers. Do you have something you want to say to me? Gushly, Hopper, Klugnik, Galinto, Guppy, Velo, Capote. Marshall, please. This is very serious. Blatz, Nick, Ollie, Floy, Clibble, Novel, Banuk. If you tell me what's going on now, I'll do whatever I can to help. You're not talking like this on purpose, How are you? Hippolyte Glickman Snuffleock. Does what you were going to tell me have something to do with Tyler Jessup? Blatz, Nick. Little novel, only foible. Glamour. Tyler did something using a, a phone. A phone powered by one of these. It's a Paradigm computer chip. You should have known 
better than to use something made for Paradigm. We never know what kind of effect Paradigm technologies will have. Google, Google not. God like Gling. I don't need a translation for that. They were free. Looks like your garden variety silicon semiconductor. Only dusty. Do you put these in all the phones? All the phones have the chips, but Marshall is the only person we know talking in gibberish. So maybe it's not the SIM chips after all. If not the chips, then what? <sighs> Sniffle snorts, globble glick, half nats glom tribble. Tyler choose a pen like that. I'm fairly certain that Marshall is telling us that Tyler did or, or caused something to happen to him via Tyler's phone. Did Tyler text something to you? An emoticon. We're all texting them to each other. Marshall's incoming call list can show the emoticons his phone received. Okay, got it. The last emoticon Tyler sent to Marshall. And that one was the trigger. If Tyler sent an emoticon that made this happen, I wonder if there's another one that can stop it. Where did you get the software from to generate the emoticons? Mervyn's triple mark. Vocally string on four guard. Try splits. There you are, Mr. Wheeler. Professor Zachary, may I have a moment, please? I found their exam papers on your desk. It became as obvious to me what happened as it must have to you. Before you draw any conclusions, I've spoken with Marshall and I... To get more facts about the apparent cheating by he and Mr. Jessup? Tyler, please, please tell Professor Zachary exactly what you just told me. Marshall made me an offer. He'd help me with the midterm if I had to help him sell phones to all my friends. Tyler confessed when I presented him with the evidence of his cheating. Thank you, Tyler. That'll be all. As I said, Tyler confessed willingly. As cheating is an offense punishable by suspension or expulsion, I just hoped that Mr. Wheeler was as forthcoming when you spoke to him. Did you know that it has been widely reported in the Journal of Teenage Issues that there are myriad possibilities, uh, predicaments and perturbances that the average adolescent faces, which require him or her to take time in silence to contemplate before responding? It may further interest you to learn that Mr. Wheeler. I think I've waited long enough for your answer. <sighs> and I've had quite enough of these. In consideration of Professor Zachary's eloquent, if overlong, intervention, I'm going to put a proposition to you, Mr. Wheeler. If you confess to what transpired today, I will take into account your high academic standing and your otherwise unblemished scholastic record. You have one hour to decide. May I take Tyler's cell phone, please? Thank you. So? We have less than one hour to restore Marshall's ability to speak in his own defense, or Durst will expel him from Blake Holsey. Oh, no. Okay, we've been going over what we know about Marshall. Could he be speaking in some kind of code? It's possible. All messaging software is based on code. A message is written, encrypted, sent, then decoded or decrypted. In this case, there seems to be an embedded code, the one that's affecting Marshall. So when Tyler sent the emoticon, the software decrypted the embedded code. A code within a code. Sweet. Maybe. Maybe not. Cell phone technology, like all innovation, was meant to make communicating more efficient. But new technologies can have unexpected consequences. 
No one anticipated anyone could use cell phones and texting to cheat on a text. Exactly, Corinne, but it happened. It's up to us to use technology responsibly or face the consequences. Why would someone have created this code within a code in the first place? It's the ultimate insecurity, a revolutionary way of ensuring two people's conversation isn't understood, even if it is overheard. Who else would need that kind of security? Where did you get that software from? Can you show me the path to the website where you got the software? It's an old site with the file transfer protocol from the dark ages. I'm going to try Emoticon. Here we go. Decrypt.exe, that's got to be it. OK, downloading. Got it. Now all we have to do is transfer the file to Tyler's phone through the IR port, pick undo, then zap it over to Marshall's phone. But we don't have Tyler's phone. Doris does. No, she doesn't. We do. Way to go, Z. Got it. <sighs> undo. Here it comes. Venus Black Farm stuff. No. Marshall, what did I do? Use the same command again. Uh, maybe it's like a three-way light switch, low, high, off. What happens if it doesn't work? Or makes it twice as bad? Just forget I said that. Undo! Well, plastic energy. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Thanks. Don't ever do that, Marshall. So, let's have the full story. Decrypted this time. Tyler offered me connections, not the other way around. He said all his brother's friends would buy phones from me. That's no excuse for cheating. I said no, but he threatened to ruin my business. It just seemed like there was no way out. Then I thought that if, if, if Tyler and I both got the same answers wrong, answers that you knew that I knew... You were sending me a help message in code. Clever. But you should have come to see me first. Or one of us. We would have understood. You can trust us. I know that now. Unfortunately, we now have to explain that to Principal Durst. So as soon as the test ended, I went to tell Professor Z what I did, but... But I didn't fully understand what Marshall was trying to tell me until I discovered he was speaking in code. I see. Do you know we have a zero-tolerance policy regarding cheating? And you came very close to almost ruining a, an illustrious record? Yes. Tyler Jessup's record has been permanently blemished by this incident. And his subsequent behavior. He's also being given a week's suspension for bullying you into cheating. How about me? May I, uh, recommend community service? Say, tutoring students in science before and after class. Uh, very well. I, uh, suppose you'll be wanting your phone back. It's funny. It's not here. Come in here, please. Do you know what this is? The obvious answer. It's a SIM chip.
Mili Sagrake Osoni Bani Devoketiko Teresta Glumti Vox Stratiko Glumfko Glumdrav Installed in all Paradigm communication systems. And grant immediately.